Canaanite religion refers to the group of ancient Semitic religions practiced by the Canaanites living in the ancient Levant from at least the Early Bronze Age through the first centuries of the Common Era. Canaanite religion was polytheistic, and in some cases monolatristic. Beliefs <inaudible> 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 Deities A great number of deities in a four-tier hierarchy headed by El and Asherah were worshipped by the followers of the Canaanite religion, this is a partial listing Anat, virgin goddess of war and strife, sister and putative mate of Baal Hadad. Atharat, walker of the sea Mother goddess, wife of El also known as Elit and after the Bronze Age as Asherah. Athtart, better known by her Greek name Astarte, assists Anat in the myth of Baal Asherah, queen consort of El Ugaritic religion, Elkanursa Hittite religion, Yahweh Israelite religion, Amoru Amorite religion. Symbolized by Asherah pole, a common site in ancient Canaan Atar, god of the morning star, son of the morning who tried to take the place of the dead Baal and failed. Male counterpart of Athtart. Baalit or Baalit, the wife or female counterpart of Baal also Balili Baal Hadid lit, master of thunder, storm god. Often referred to as Baal Shaman. Baal Hermon, titular local deity of Mount Hermon. Baal Hamon, god of fertility and renewer of all energies in the Phoenician colonies of the western Mediterranean Dagon, Dagon, god of crop fertility and grain, father of Baal Hadid. El, also called Il or Elion, most high, generally considered leader of the pantheon, later conflated with the idiosyncratic god Yahweh. Eshman, god, or as Baalit Asclepius, goddess of healing. Horon, an underworld god. Bathoran in Israel takes its name from Horon. Ashat, goddess of fire. She was slain by Anat. Kotharot, goddesses of marriage and pregnancy Kothar wa Kasis, the skilled god of craftsmanship Lotan, the twisting, seven-headed serpent ally of Yam Markad, god of dance Melkart, literally, king of the city, god of Tyre, the underworld and cycle of vegetation in Tyre Malak, putative god of fire Mo or Mawit, god of death not worshipped or given offerings Nikol Waib, goddess of orchards and fruit Kadeshtu, lit. Holy One. Putative goddess of love. Also a title of Asherah. Reshef, god of plague and of healing Shachar and Shalom, twin mountain gods of dawn and dusk, respectively. Shalom was linked to the netherworld via the evening star and associated with peace Shamayim, lit. Skies. God of the heavens, paired with Eretz, the land or earth Shapish, also transliterated Shapshu, goddess of the sun, sometimes equated with the Mesopotamian sun god Shamash, whose gender is disputed. Some authorities consider Shamash a goddess. Siddiq, the god of righteousness or justice, sometimes twinned with Masor, and linked to the planet Jupiter. Yam, lit. Sea river, the god of the sea and the river, also called Judge Nahar, judge of the river. Yarik, god of the moon and husband of Nikol. Topic. Afterlife beliefs and cult of the dead Topic. Canaanites believed that following physical death, the, usually translated as, soul, departed from the body to the land of Mo death. Bodies were buried with grave goods, and offerings of food and drink were made to the dead to ensure that they would not trouble the living. Dead relatives were venerated and sometimes asked for help. Topic. Cosmology Topic. None of the inscribed tablets found in 1929 in the Canaanite city of Ugarit destroyed c. 1200 BC has revealed a cosmology. Any idea of one is often reconstructed from the much later Phoenician text by Philo of Byblos c. 64-141 AD, after much Greek and Roman influence in the region. According to the pantheon, known in Ugarit as Ilhm Elohim, or the children of El, supposedly obtained by Philo of Byblos from Sanchuniathon of Berithus Beirut, the creator was known as Elion, who was the father of the divinities, and in the Greek sources he was married to Beruth Beirut equals the city. 
This marriage of the divinity with the city would seem to have biblical parallels too with the stories of the link between Melkart and Tyre, Chemosh and Moab, Tanit and Baal Hammon in Carthage, Yah and Jerusalem. From the union of El Elyon and his consort were born Uranus and Je, Greek names for the heaven and the earth. In Canaanite mythology there were twin mountains Targazizi and Theramagi which hold the firmament up above the earth's circling ocean, thereby bounding the earth. W. F. Albright, for example, says that El Shaddai is a derivation of a Semitic stem that appears in the Akkadian Shadu mountain, and Shad U circumflex or Shad U circumflex a mountain dweller, one of the names of Amoru. Philo of Byblos states that Atlas was one of the Elohim, which would clearly fit into the story of El Shaddai as God of the Mountains. Harriet Lutsky has presented evidence that Shaddai was an attribute of a Semitic goddess, linking the epithet with Hebrew sad, breast, as the one of the breast. The idea of two mountains being associated here as the breasts of the earth, fits into the Canaanite mythology quite well. The ideas of pairs of mountains seem to be quite common in Canaanite mythology, similar to Horeb and Sinai in the Bible. The late period of this cosmology makes it difficult to tell what influences Roman, Greek, or Hebrew may have informed Philo's writings. Topic: <laughs> Mythology. Topic: In the Baal cycle, Ba Al Hadid is challenged by and defeats Yam using two magical weapons called Driver and Chaser, made for him by Kothar Wa Kasis. Afterward, with the help of Atharat and Anat, Ba Al persuades El to allow him a palace. El approves, and the palace is built by Kothar Wa Kasis. After the palace is constructed, Ba Al gives forth a thunderous roar out of the palace window and challenges Mo. Mo enters through the window and swallows Ba Al, sending him to the underworld. With no one to give rain, there is a terrible drought in Ba Al's absence. The other deities, especially El and Anat, are distraught that Ba Al has been taken to the underworld. Anat goes to the underworld, attacks Mo with a knife, grinds him up into pieces, and scatters him far and wide. With Mo defeated, Ba Al is able to return and refresh the earth with rain. Topic: Religious practices. Topic: Archaeological investigations at the site of Tel El Safiyad have found the remains of donkeys, as well as some sheep and goats in early Bronze Age layers, dating to 4,900 years ago, which were imported from Egypt in order to be sacrificed. One of the sacrificial animals, a complete donkey, was found beneath the foundations of a building, leading to speculation this was a foundation deposit. Placed before the building of a residential house, it is considered virtually impossible to reconstruct a clear picture of Canaanite religious practices. Although child sacrifice was known to surrounding peoples there is no reference to it in ancient Phoenician or classical texts. The biblical representation of Canaanite religion is always negative. Canaanite religious practice had a high regard for the duty of children to care for their parents, with sons being held responsible for burying them and arranging for the maintenance of their tombs. Canaanite deities such as Baal were represented by figures which were placed in shrines often on hilltops or high places. Surrounded by groves of trees, such as is condemned in the Hebrew Bible, in Hosea v. 13a, which would probably hold the Asherah pole, and standing stones or pillars. History The Canaanites the Levant region was inhabited by people who themselves referred to the land as Ca Na Na Um as early as the mid 3rd millennium BCE. There are a number of possible etymologies for the word. The Akkadian word, Kinahu, referred to the purple colored wool, dyed from the murex mollusks of the coast, which was throughout history a key export of the region. When the Greeks later traded with the Canaanites, this meaning of the word seems to have predominated as they called the Canaanites the Phoenikes or Phoenicians, which may derive from the Greek word phoenix, meaning crimson or purple, and again described the cloth for which the Greeks also traded. The Romans transcribed phoenix to penis, thus calling the descendants of the Canaanite settlers in Carthage punic. 
Thus while Phoenician and Canaanite refer to the same culture, archaeologists and historians commonly refer to the Bronze Age, pre-1200 BC Levantines as Canaanites, and their Iron Age descendants, particularly those living on the coast, as Phoenicians. More recently, the term Canaanite has been used for the secondary Iron Age states of the interior including the Philistines and the states of Israel and Judah that were not ruled by Arameans—a separate and closely related ethnic group. Topic. Influences Topic. Canaanite religion was strongly influenced by their more powerful and populous neighbors, and shows clear influence of Mesopotamian and Egyptian religious practices. Like other people of the ancient Near East Canaanite religious beliefs were polytheistic, with families typically focusing on veneration of the dead in the form of household gods and goddesses, the Elohim, while acknowledging the existence of other deities such as Baal and El, Asherah and Astarte. Kings also played an important religious role and in certain ceremonies, such as the Hieros Gamos of the New Year, may have been revered as gods. At the center of Canaanite religion was royal concern for religious and political legitimacy and the imposition of a divinely ordained legal structure, as well as peasant emphasis on fertility of the crops, flocks, and humans. <laughs> Contact with other areas Canaanite religion was influenced by its peripheral position, intermediary between Egypt and Mesopotamia, whose religions had a growing impact upon Canaanite religion. For example, during the Hyksos period, when chariot-mounted Marianu ruled in Egypt, at their capital city of Avaris, Baal became associated with the Egyptian god Set, and was considered identical, particularly with Set in his form as Setek. Iconographically henceforth Baal was shown wearing the crown of Lower Egypt and shown in the Egyptian-like stance, one foot set before the other. Similarly Atharat known by her later Hebrew name Asherah, Athtart known by her later Greek name Astarte, and Anat henceforth were portrayed wearing Hather-like Egyptian wigs. From the other direction, Jean Bottero has suggested that Yah of Ebla a possible precursor of Yam was equated with the Mesopotamian god Ea during the Akkadian Empire. In the Middle and Late Bronze Age, there are also strong Hurrian and Mitannite influences upon the Canaanite religion. The Hurrian goddess Habat was worshipped in Jerusalem, and Baal was closely considered equivalent to the Hurrian storm god Teshub and the Hittite storm god, Tarhunt. Canaanite divinities seem to have been almost identical in form and function to the neighboring Arameans to the east, and Baal Hadid and El can be distinguished amongst earlier Amorites, who at the end of the Early Bronze Age invaded Mesopotamia. Carried west by Phoenician sailors, Canaanite religious influences can be seen in Greek mythology, particularly in the tripartite division between the Olympians Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, mirroring the division between Baal, Yam and Mo, and in the story of the labors of Hercules, mirroring the stories of the Tyrian Melkart, who was often equated with Heracles. <laughs> Sources Present-day knowledge of Canaanite religion comes from Literary sources, mainly from Late Bronze Age Ugarit, supplemented by Biblical sources Archaeological discoveries Literary sources until Claude F. A. Schaefer began excavating in 1929 at Ras Shamra in northern Syria the site historically known as Ugarit, and the discovery of its Bronze Age archive of clay tablets written in an alphabetical cuneiform, modern scholars knew little about Canaanite religion, as few records have survived. Papyrus seems to have been the preferred writing medium, but whereas in Egypt papyrus may survive centuries in the extremely dry climate, Canaanite records have simply decayed in the humid Mediterranean climate. As a result, the accounts contained within the Bible represented almost the only sources of information on ancient Canaanite religion. This record was supplemented by a few secondary and tertiary Greek sources, Lucian's De Dea Syria the Syrian goddess, fragments of the Phoenician history of Philo of Byblos died 141 CE, and the writings of Damasius. 
More recently, detailed study of the Ugaritic material, of other inscriptions from the Levant and also of the Ebla archive from Tel Mardik, excavated in 1960 by a joint Italo-Syrian team, have cast more light on the early Canaanite religion. According to the Encyclopedia of Religion, the Ugarit texts represent one part of a larger religion that was based on the religious teachings of Babylon. The Canaanite scribes who produced the Baal texts were also trained to write in Babylonian cuneiform, including Sumerian and Akkadian texts of every genre. Topic archaeological source Topic Archaeological excavations in the last few decades have unearthed more about the religion of the ancient Canaanites. The excavation of the city of Ras Shamra 1928 onwards and the discovery of its Bronze Age archive of clay tablet alphabetic cuneiform texts provided a wealth of new information. More recently, detailed study of the Ugaritic material, of other inscriptions from the Levant and also of the Ebla archive from Tel Mardik, excavated in 1960 by a joint Italo-Syrian team, have cast more light on the early Canaanite religion. Topic see also topic Ancient Semitic religion Canaanism Origins of Judaism Semitic Neopaganism The Early History of God, Yahweh and Other Deities in Ancient Israel Yahweh topic Notes topic topic References topic topic Bibliography topic Moscati, Sabatino The World of the Phoenicians Phoenix Giant Ribicini, Sergio Beliefs and Religious Life in Moscati Sabatino 1997, The Phoenicians Rissoli, Van der Torn, Carol Dictionary of Deities and Demons in the Bible. New York, E.J. Brill. ISBN 0-8028-2491-9. Bibliography of Canaanite and Phoenician Studies Dawson, Tess Whisper of Stone. Natib Kadish, Modern Canaanite Religion. O Books. ISBN 978-1-84694-190-0. External links topic K. L. Knoll. Canaanite Religion. Brandon University